of converted air bases, prisons and all that. Uh, but so don't forget the hotels, the commandeering of hotels to fill with migrants all over the country continues apace. About 500 hotels so far and rising. And one of them uh, is the Stradi Park Hotel in Lanelli. Uh, that's not a very good pronunciation, is it? So I'll try a bit of Welsh. Llanelli. Is that okay? Not very good, but um, I, do, I do, do my best. Uh, uh, where 100 staff have been made redundant and hundreds of migrants will be put into this lovely four-star hotel, uh, famed for its restaurants, famed as a wedding venue, beautiful views, beautiful manicured gardens, copper baths in the suites, 250 quid a night, four-star, now packed with migrants, and the 100 staff who work there fired, made redundant, so that cheaper staff can come in to deal, uh, to serve the migrants, as it were. And the local community are not happy. Uh, let's talk to a uh, campaigner there, Robert Lloyd. Hello, Robert. Good morning, Kevin. Borida, as we say here. Yes, uh, what did you think of my pronunciation of Llanelli? Not very good, not eh? Not actually. It's pretty good, Llanelli, and you, you're uh, getting there in very each week. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get there in the end. Um, now, tell us, was I mean, you and I have talked about this before. Uh, without a word to you, without any consultation, suddenly your showpiece hotel, lovely-looking hotel, uh, was turned into a migrant centre uh, yeah. and all the staff got uh, fired. The local community uh, are furious. They, they even set up a sort of blockade of tents and things outside the hotel, but have been ignored. Uh, are you still being ignored? Yeah, we are. And I think you mentioned the word in the introduction there, Kevin, you said trampled. And we, we very much feel as if we've been trampled underfoot. Uh, I mean, we treated nothing but contempt by the Home Office, unfortunately. And uh, Robert Jenrick and Suella Braverman should really hang their heads in shame of the way they've they've treated the community, the village of Furness and the town of Lately. It is an absolute disgrace. Zero consultation. Uh, this plan was exploded over the town of Llanelli exactly 11 weeks ago to the day and it came as a bombshell. It was a, a secret plan which had been discussed with the local county council and the MPs for about four weeks and then they realised that they had to go public on it. Uh, they went public on it 11 weeks ago and since that day 11 weeks ago we've campaigned really hard uh, and mobilise the community in a brilliant community campaign uh, to object to this plan because we see this plan it's very simple it, it's it's not so much about the asylum seekers it's actually about uh, the contempt shown to us at the home office plus it's about money and greed and there's huge amounts of money to be made from uh, this scheme of putting asylum seekers into hotels and what they plan to do is put an initial assessment centre housing 241 people into a 76 bed, uh, as you say, luxury four-star hotel. Uh, they're planning to do that as soon as possible. When we were told with the, the, the plan in the first place, when it sort of exploded over us, uh, we were told it was a done deal, no consultation, and it could happen within 24 hours. Well, here we are 11 weeks down the road and we've still kept it at bay for now and we fight on. Uh, well, uh... Well done to you for that. Uh, and is it your impression? I mean, I don't want to be inhumane or unkind to these migrants, uh, all of whom do arrive here illegally because they use illegal vessels to get across the channel, often with no documents. Uh, so, you know, they're here. Uh, we're, we're a generous nation. I suppose we have to do something about them. But it is, is it your impression that the government prioritises the needs, desires and wants of migrants over local communities like yours? I mean, you, you can't help but fail to get that impression, unfortunately. I'm willing to leave the bigger issue of asylum seekers and so on to the, the so-called politicians. Uh, who are, are sort of debating it. But to my mind, it, it seems like a simple equation. There's a vast amount of money being pumped into uh, hotel accommodation, £6 million a night. Uh, I just don't see why they can't put some of that money in the front end of this problem, uh, deal with the asylum seekers quicker at the front end as they land, process them quicker and so on. Now, part of the problem we've got here is that we've been accused of being racist, we've been accused of being NIMBY. Not of course, of course, that goes without saying. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're not that at all. I know you're not, of course you're because not. 
the, the reality is that Lely is a very welcoming place and we've we've been home to Jewish refugees the Second World War. We had a big German community which arrived at the end of the Second World War. We had uh, Ukrainian refugees, we've got a big Polish community in town. We've had Syrian refugees and so on. What we see here, uh, and this is what our Furnace Action Committee has done, a team of volunteers, we've tried to highlight that Kamala Council has a model for dealing with asylum seekers, and that model is to disperse them in the local community. We have, and that works very successfully, that you know people are dispersed in local communities, uh, in houses, flats, etc. Uh, in the community, they're able to be supported, their health and well-being is very able to be looked after, and very often people are embraced and, and welcomed into the community. Of course, of course. What, uh, what about, can, can I just ask you this, uh, Robert? Uh, absolutely. You know, you know, this depiction of anyone who objects to a major migrant centre in their midst as racists is just ridiculous. It's just, yeah. But usually the concern is, uh, you know, we don't have the infrastructure. That's what the people of the tiny town of Portland in Dorset are saying. There's 12,000 of them, one copper, one local GP. Uh, they, they just said, we can't cope with 500 young unemployed men suddenly in our midst. That's the complaint. Uh, it is practical. Nothing to do with the philosophy of racism or anything like that. Uh, but uh, why is the government... I mean, what I think is the outrage in your circumstance, Robert, is this. The government has effectively been responsible for the dismissal of a yeah. hundred workers who worked at that hotel. Uh, that's a significant number of people in a town like Hrenekli. Uh, and, and the government has uh, organised, in effect, their dismissal. They're now out of work. That yeah. is an insult to uh, your town, your city, isn't it? It, it is a total insult, and, and we feel very badly about that because uh, this was a hotel, a four-star hotel, which was functioning perfectly well. Uh, Kamal and Shirt, Nettie and Village of Furness is, is building up its tourist trade. We've got a race course, a rugby stadium, gorgeous Millennium Coastal Park, wetland centre, golf centres and so on. You know, this our tourism trade. Is, this is a post-industrial town where we're trying to reinvent the tourism trade. All of a sudden, more than half of our quality accommodation has gone in one fell swoop because of some civil servant or politician in Whitehall in London has decided, yes, it's a good place. We'll look, put a pin in the map. Clenet is a good place to have uh, an asylum centre. The village of Furness, only 400 people. They're asking to put 241 people into this village of Furness. As you said earlier, the infrastructure isn't there for it. You know, we worry about the effect on health, education services. You know, the very simple level. You know, it, it's it's on a main road with no crossing. The it's the infrastructure is all wrong. It's the wrong plan for the wrong place. Uh, and the the contempt that we've been treated with is amazing because, as you say, the you know up to a hundred workers plus there's the support teams that actually. You've got the florists who come in on wedding days to put wedding yeah, yeah. Uh, things in the in the venue. You know they're practically out of business now because their wedding trade has gone. You know all the caterers and so on. It, it's an absolute tragedy for the town of Lely. And uh, one last point: uh, at no point did the government ever consult with your community about the imposition of these migrant centres. Nothing at all. We get vague promises week in, week out to say that oh, the other one we heard the other day, they're going to launch next week an internet consultation. Oh, great. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Because yeah, that'll sort it out. Absolutely. You know, and, and I can tell you what the people of will say about that consultation. Same as, they, Lee, same as Lee Anderson said, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, Robert, uh, it's always great to talk to you. Uh, best of luck with your campaign. We will talk again soon.